to the second intercostal space, right uh, sternum, uh, right sternal border for air for the aortic semilunar valve that we're listening to. And again, this is S2. Then right across, second intercostal space, left sternal border. I'm listening for the pulmonic semilunar valve. One intercostal space down is Herb's point where I hear S1 and S2 equally. The next intercostal space I go down for tricuspid, still right sternal border. Then I'm gonna deflect uh, breast tissue to, uh, to find the, uh, the mitral valve, which is fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. And I'm gonna repeat by listening with the, uh, at, with the diaphragm and the bell in each of those five areas. For lung sounds, I start at the apices of the lungs. Good. Good. And in Guatemala, I'd say uts, which means good. And I'm going through across each side, just like um, what they call a, um, what do they call this? Um, corset, like a corset fashion, fashion. And when I get down to the, uh, the bases of the lungs, I, I'm likely, I'm likely only going to be able to hear the the uh, uh, the upper lobe and part part of the middle lobe, and even and then when I'm listening to the uh, to the side, I've got three areas I'm listening to the middle to the uh, right middle lobe. I bet you start up closer up to our pit. Yeah, up at the apices. Mm -hmm listening to three areas of the right middle lobe and no adventitious sounds there. The patient move, lean forward on the back. I'm starting again at the apices of the lungs. Take a deep breath each time I touch my uh, stethoscope to you. Good. 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 And if I can get really good at it, I can actually listen in between the, uh, the ribs or intercostal areas. Good. So I'm hearing even non-labored breathing. And you can say lung sounds are clear. Lung sounds are clear to auscultation. And as I move down, I'm gonna move a little bit further out for the bases. If I wanna be really fancy, I could listen for agophony and petro 